We all hear about statistics and analytics when it comes to social media, but what exactly is social media analytics and why should we be keeping track of it? In this video, we will be talking about the reason why we track our social media analytics and why we keep a tab on them. If you want to see more information on photography, marketing, and a little bit of my life thrown into the mix, you can subscribe to this channel and make sure you hit that bell notification so that you can be notified whenever my videos go out every Friday at 9 a.m. As a small business owner, one of the biggest mistakes I made at the very beginning of starting my business was not tracking my social media analytics. I actually only recently started tracking them and once I did start tracking them, I saw a huge boost in followers and engagement as soon as I started keeping tabs on them. I always thought that it wasn't really important to keep track of, but I am not ashamed to admit that I was definitely wrong. Tracking your analytics, especially on social media, is the key to keeping your business and your brand on track and continually making sure that your content is being received positively by your consumers and your viewers, especially when you're a small business owner and your main source of marketing is online. And this is especially important for new beginners in their business, especially when you don't have a strong following that might not be upfront and vocal about what they like and dislike yet. So before we begin, let's first talk about exactly what analytics are. Analytics are patterns and meaningful knowledge that we grab from data. Data in its rawest form is just information. So social media analytics is data or information that we gather from our each individual social media accounts. And we use this data to improve our performance on social media. Now let's get into the why you should be wanting to track your social media analytics. When you are a small business owner and you are using social media and online sources as a way to grow and market yourself, it can be difficult sometimes to really focus and see what content that your consumers and viewers are responding positively to. When we keep track of what particular content is doing best each and every month, we then have the information on what our viewers are responding to in particular. Let's use an example. I noticed in the past that my engagement on Instagram wasn't the greatest and I was trying to brainstorm some ideas on how to boost my momentum on social media. And then one day I decided I was going to be a bit vulnerable on social media and I ended up posting a picture of myself on Instagram talking about my struggles with body image and with my weight. That particular post of myself did better than any other post I had had that entire month. It was then that I knew that being a bit more open and showing my face on Instagram was really, really impacting my audience greatly and bringing in a lot more engagement on my social media. And when you start taking note of what particular content is resonating well with your audience, you can then start using that information to create the content that your consumers are loving. And when you create content that your consumers will love, this is naturally going to lead to more growth and engagement on your social media. Keeping track of analytics isn't just important for knowing what to do each and every month and what's responding well to your audience, but it also really helps your own mental state as well. Just this past month, I had felt like I wasn't really growing on social media the way that I had wanted to, and I was starting to feel really down on myself until I sat down and I looked at last month's analytics compared to this current month's analytics, and I was blown away by the amount of engagement that I had completely overlooked. I had grown 20 new followers on Instagram and I had doubled my watch time on YouTube. And I wouldn't have known any of that if I hadn't been tracking my analytics from month to month. What is your biggest question when it comes to tracking analytics? Leave your questions in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And let's build a really strong and helpful community here on this channel of mine. Now let's jump into the how of tracking our social media analytics. Nowadays, we have so many resources at our fingertips that help us track our data on social media from month to month. And you can always track your growth weekly, but I personally prefer to do it monthly. I feel like I have a more well-rounded information and set of data to look at each month. I feel like it's a bigger timeline so I can see exactly what's working and what's not working. But if you feel like weekly works for you, then you go on with your bad self and you can track weekly. So at the beginning of each and every month, I will sit down and I will pull up my Facebook, my Twitter, and my YouTube account, and then I will go in and I will pull up the insights and analytics on each of those sites. 
All three of these have a wonderful analytics tracked within them that I find are very, very helpful to see a monthly overview of what has been working and what hasn't been. Just a note that you can only track your analytics with Facebook if you have a business page with them. The same thing goes with Instagram. You have to have a business account to actually be able to see your insights. Once I've pulled up these accounts of mine, I just pull up the specific area within each social media outlet that shows my monthly analytics. With Facebook, it's under the Insights section. YouTube is under the YouTube Studio and then the Analytics section. And Twitter is under the More tab and then under Analytics. Now with Instagram, I do it a little bit differently. I use a third-party app to keep track of my data from month to month. I use Planoly, which is how I schedule out all of my Instagram posts. And this is how I get all of my monthly information, such as what my most liked post was, what my most commented post was, and how many followers I gained that particular month. And you don't have to use Planoly, it's just a personal preference of mine. You can always go into the insight section within Instagram's actual app, and that has great tracking features that you can use if you don't feel like you wanna use a third-party app. Now that I've pulled up all of my social media accounts and I've pulled up all of the analytics, I will then write down all of my information from the past 28 days or the past month. I will typically keep track of my followers, my views, my comments, my watch hours, and anything else that I might find is helpful for me in the future. I will also write down what my most popular post was for that particular month so that I know what my viewers were really, really responding and engaging with. And this way I know that, okay, my followers are really, really responding to that. Let's continue to bring more of that into the future. Tracking your monthly analytics isn't difficult at all and it only takes a few moments at the beginning of each and every month. But it makes a huge difference when you're a small business owner and a content creator. And I promise that it genuinely does help aid in your growth. So now you've learned about all the important reasons of keeping track of your social media analytics. But are you finding that you need an easy and cohesive way to write it all down? I created a PDF of the very same sheet that I print out at the beginning of every single month and I use this to write down all of my analytic information. I use this to see all the growth on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. And now you can download this guide for free when you click the link in my description box and become a part of the email newsletter family. And as soon as you do that, this printable will be sent directly to your email inbox and you can start keeping track of your own monthly statistics and analytics. If you enjoyed watching this video, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what your biggest takeaway was. Thank you so much for watching and spending your precious time with me and I will see you in the next video.